Hello everybody! Welcome to a movie review of a film that I have been dying to see since it came out last th on this month last year. A movie that is considered by most people to be one of the best holiday slash Christmas themed movies of all time, even though it's like your prototypical family friendly, family oriented Christmas movie. The movie I'm talking about feet is Violent Night. Starring David Harbour as Santa Claus. Now, David Harbour, for those who don't know, is a very, he's a very famous actor. He is, in my opinion, a very good actor. He's done a lot of movies. He's known for. Um, he played one of the crooked cops in the. He played one of the crooked cops in the first Equalizer film with Denzel Washington. He's known for playing Red Guardian. And um. In the Marvel Cinematic Universe franchise. So there's that. And. Um, basically what Violent Night is. To basically describe what Violent Night is. And pretty much I have to agree with what the. Critics were saying. It's most of the critics were saying. It's basically. Die Hard meets Home Alone. It's basically a combination of the Die Hard franchise. Mixed in with the Home Alone franchise. And considering that I love most of the Die Hard movies. And I love the first two Home Alone films with Macaulay Culkin. I was like, I gotta check this shit out. Because I love Christmas. I love action films. And I love me some Santa Claus. Now, I will tell you this. This is not for young children. So if you have a children like, oh, there's Santa Claus. I wouldn't show it to your kids. It's got a lot of strong adult course language, and it's extremely bloody and violent. People getting decapitated, people losing their arms, their legs, getting their head smashed in by a sledgehammer. Yeah, there's a lot of that shit going on in the fucking movies. In the film, excuse me. So I wouldn't show that to your young kids. With that being said, though, did I like this movie? Did I like it? Did I love it? Did I hate it? I fucking loved it. I think it's one of the greatest Christmas movies I've ever seen in my life. I think it's one of the best action movies I've seen in my life. I think what the, these people did is like, look, we're going to take Santa Claus, stay true in a lot of ways to the core roots of his character, but also give it a new, interesting spin on it. And that's what it was to me. I like the backstory they gave David Harbour Santa Claus. Although I wish they expanded upon it, which they will most like, which I think they should do in the upcoming sequel, which from what I've heard is in development, which to me is a good thing because this movie right here kicks serious ass. Uh, the acting was great. Uh, David Harbour did a great job as his iteration of Santa Claus. And I love the little girl. The little girl was so cute in this movie. She was easily one of the best parts of this movie. And I love the connection and relationship she had with David Harbour, Santa Claus, and the chemistry he had with him. It was phenomenal. I forgot the guy who played the man bad guy, but he's done a lot of movies. He's a very famous actor too, if I'm not mistaken. I've seen his face before, but I don't remember his name. I'll probably have to look him up when I get the chance. But he was good in this too. He was great in this too. I mean, the, every staff, every actor and actress played their parts very well. But if I were to choose which which of the two stood out the most, it's the little girl and David Harbour as Santa Claus. Those two people did a hell of a job in this movie. The CGI visual special effects, I'm not going to lie. They were pretty damn crisp, man. They were really damn good. Um, It was really damn good. Uh, the premise of this movie was pretty cool. I mean, it's, stere it's stereotypical for an action movie, but I liked it. You know, if you're going to give us a stereotypical plot, you better have some good writing to it. And pretty much it is, you know, it starts off with a group of terrorists holding a rich family hostage and a job for Santa Claus to get them out of trouble. Which, you know, seems out of the ordinary, but it is what it is. Uh, the music score in this was pretty damn good. The soundtrack was good. The direction and vision was good. This movie, I think, will go down in history within the next 10 plus years as an absolute classic and gem. I had a great time with this film, guys. I don't know what else to tell you. Like, I am not in denial like I was when I saw the theoretical cut of Justice League. When I, after I saw the theoretical cut of the Justice League movie in theaters. This is not me in denial. This movie, this movie right here, uh, Violent Night, is off the chain. It's... 
you don't say if you don't want to take my word for it, you can go look watch some other review. I'm telling you right now, this movie is awesome. It's a must watch. If you love Santa Claus, if you love action movies, if you love holiday movies, if you love holiday movies with a bit of action. With some action in it. And even and even though it wasn't really that comedic, there were quite a bit of movies in quite a bit of moments in this movie where I was laughing my ass off. I was having a great time watching this movie. I really was. Uh, on a scale from 1 to 10, I'm easily giving this a 10 out of 10. And on a grade from an A plus to a fuck you, I'm giving this movie an A plus. Uh, that is, and, uh, yeah, so, uh, hope you guys enjoyed my review. Peace out.